Identifying plant diseases by examining affected leaves is a common practice among gardeners and farmers. While it's not always possible to diagnose a disease with certainty based solely on leaf symptoms, certain patterns and characteristics can provide valuable clues. Here are some common vegetable plant diseases, leaf symptoms and treatment. 1. Powdery mildew, symptoms, white, powdery spots or patches on the upper surface of leaves. Affected plants, cucumbers, squash, pumpkins, and other members of the cucurbitaceae family. Homemade baking soda spray combined with a dormant oil and liquid soap is effective if it is applied prior to or early in an outbreak of fungus. 2. Downy mildew, symptoms, yellow angular spots on the upper surface and a downy white or purplish growth on the lower surface of leaves. Affected plants, various vegetables, including cucumbers, spinach, and onions. Avoid moist conditions, remove and destroy all infected parts of the plant as soon as symptoms are seen including any foliage seen on the ground. 3. Early blight, symptoms, dark, concentric rings with a target-like appearance on older leaves, often starting from the bottom of the plant. Affected plants, tomatoes and potatoes. Treated by neem oil, baking soda spray, serenade garden disease control, organic fungicide, crop rotation, pruning and staking and mulching. 4. Late blight, symptoms, dark, water-soaked lesions on leaves, often with a white, fuzzy growth on the undersides in humid conditions. Affected plants, tomatoes and potatoes. Treatment, Monterey All Natural Disease Control. This is a ready mix of all natural ingredients that help to control most plant foliar, leaves, diseases. Spray every 7 to 10 days. 5. Aphid damage. Symptoms. Distorted, curled leaves with yellowing and sticky honeydew residue. Affected plants. Various vegetables. Neem oil and water spray to flush them out 2 to 3 times a week. 6. Rust. Symptoms. Rust-colored pustules on the undersides of leaves, often causing yellowing on the upper surface. Affected plants. Various vegetables, including beans and tomatoes. Treatment, natural remedies such as vinegar, stinging nettle liquid or garlic mix. Remove all infected leaves and plant parts, isolate infected plant. 7. Bacterial spot, symptoms, small, dark lesions with a yellow halo on leaves, often coalescing into larger spots. Affected plants, tomatoes, peppers, and other solanaceous crops. Neem oil, baking soda spray and organic copper fungicide for severe disease. 8. Cucumber mosaic virus, CMV, symptoms, mottled yellowing, distortion, and mosaic patterns on leaves. Affected plants, cucumbers, tomatoes, peppers, and other crops. There is no known cure for cucumber virus. Infected plants should be removed and destroyed to eliminate the plants as potential reservoirs for the virus. Infected plants can be burned, deep buried or composted. 9. Anthracnose symptoms. Fungal disease, large, irregularly shaped lesions with a dark border on leaves, often spreading from the veins. Affected plants, peppers, tomatoes, cucumbers, and beans. Preventive measures. Give plants plenty of room and good circulation. Avoid overhead watering to limit wet leaves. Treatment. Treat early with organic copper-based fungicide spray to affected leaves 10. Septoria leaf spot. Symptoms. Small, circular lesions with a dark border and a grayish center on leaves. Affected plants. Tomatoes. Prevention and treatment. Keep soil moist but not wet. Infected leaves must be removed and tools cleaned since this is a fungal disease to avoid spread of spores. Treatment. Baking soda and organic fungicides. Conclusion. Remember that environmental factors, nutrient deficiencies, and other stresses can sometimes mimic disease symptoms, so it's essential to consider the overall health of the plant and other factors in your diagnosis. For a more accurate identification, you may want to consult with a local agricultural extension service or a plant pathology expert. Thanks for visiting and happy gardening!